everyone, welcome to Module 4 Data Analysis. This will be an overview video of the content available in this module and how to navigate the module itself. There will be three main presenters throughout this module, including myself, Dr. Christine Rabinak, and Dr. Katrina McGonigal. We will be using a variety of teaching strategies throughout this module and you can select the specific content that you want to listen to or that you need. This is accomplished through the creation of multiple short videos. On average, they're about 10 minutes, but they may be shorter or longer. But you do have to view all videos to obtain CE credit, and all videos are about three hours in length combined. Throughout the videos, a variety of presentation styles will be used, which include PowerPoint, Word, use of a blackboard, and showing different internet resources that you can use to perform your own statistical calculations. We also use Excel to perform some of our own calculations. And we'll be using lots of examples throughout these videos. There will be an assessment at the end of this module, and that's how you will obtain CE credit. So what does the overall module look like? Well, by the end of this module, you should be able to choose the best statistical test. And if it's a test listed on here, you should be able to perform the analysis using one of the tools that we demonstrate. Now, as I talk about the specific sections of this module and the individual videos within, there will be certain videos that are highlighted in green versus others that are yellow. So in the overview section, I would really recommend you to watch all of these videos, the descriptive statistics video, the introduction to inferential statistics video, a video on degrees of freedom, and then one versus two tailed testing. Now, if I think you may not need to watch a video. These are going to be highlighted in yellow, so we can move on to our next section that introduces statistical tests for continuous data. This includes the t-test, which I would definitely recommend watching this video. The paired t-test and ANOVA are optional, and then looking at Pearson's correlation. The next section is the ordinal and nominal test. Really, the, vi the one video you should watch here is the chi-square test. This is used very frequently in research. The others are optional depending on if you decide you're going to need to use these or not. We do have a section on advanced statistical testing, including linear, logistic, regression, and survival analysis. Now, you won't be able to conduct these analysis by the end of these videos which is different from the other statistical tests we'll talk about because these tests usually require a semester long course or a significant time investment that's outside the purpose of our module that we're presenting but you will be able to know if these are appropriate tests to use or not. And our last section will be reporting results. So the important videos here are on p-values and confidence intervals and then clinical versus statistical significance. If you're going to be using relative risk, odds ratio, absolute risk reduction, or number needed to treat in reporting results, then you should go ahead and watch these videos. After watching these videos, this should prepare you to meet with a statistician. You'll have the correct statistical test selected, and you'll want to make sure to prepare in advance um, of meeting with the statistician. You also want to give statisticians time to prepare so they can review your clinical content. Make sure when you're talking about the study to them that you give simple explanations. Just as you may not be an expert in statistical testing, they may not be an expert in your clinical content. 
you want to clarify their role both in the project and the manuscript and the timelines up front so that things are finished in a timely manner. So the next step for those going through module four is to select the individual components that you're interested in reviewing. If you already feel like you have considerable knowledge in an area like descriptive statistics, you do not need to watch these videos. We hope you enjoy the content.